Frank. Uh, long time ago, I started as a sculptor. So I worked in uh, marble, bluestone, bronze. I did all different things. I made models, uh, animals, uh, more decoration. So 20 years ago, I decided to not make any decoration anymore. I wanted to make a sculpture about soul. Uh, I also wanted to make a, a different uh, way of working, not as a ceramist or a sculptor. I, I did my own thing, so I started with uh, origami with clay. I started with folding a sheet of clay into a, into a sculpture. It uh, took me eight years to make uh, the basic form of the work. And now it's 20 years, it's an evolution of 20 years. Uh, and this is the work you see. They are not uh, persons, it's uh, only an amorph form, anthropomorphic form, who represents uh, a statue of the soul. They are all different forms of soul. Uh, that's what's my work about. It's about an archive of 20 years of all different uh, statements of the soul I see on the street. I see myself as a soul, soul catcher. So I look on the street at people, but I don't see faces. I only see uh, luggage people wear on their faces. And I take that and I put it in this form, in a form who looks human. So that's what my work is. I start with making a, a slab of clay with all little pieces. So each work is just the height of my hands. So I have one size of sheet I make and that sheet I put straight and fold it into a cylinder. Then I start with making an incision of one third of the work and I close it again. Then you have uh, between neck and head the narrow. Then I, I do this with the neck. I fold the head inside so the rest of the sheet sit inside the head. Uh, the the largest form of the sheet is, is the chest. Uh, then I, I press the eyes, I press everything, I press the nose, I make two lines for the eyes, one line for the mouth, I stretch, I stretch the mouth, I stretch the eyes and I put them inside, I fold them inside. Uh, the last thing I do is put the ears on the work and then they look like little children. To make them older, I make with a knife some incisions so they have wrinkles and they look older. Uh, I don't want to color my work myself so I put it in a pit fire, I put it in the ground and fire is the artist, he makes the color on, on the work so it's random, it's colored by fire, sometimes dark, sometimes light, you can uh, not decide which color it's, it's gonna be, you have to wait and take it like it is.